Let's start setting the machine up and going from the tank backwards. For welding mild steel, we have a gas mixture here, either a 7525 or a 9010 or a 982, which refers to the argon versus the CO2 content. A 7525, also called C25, has 25% CO2 in the majority balance as argon, is 75%. A 90.10 has 90% argon, 10% CO2. A 92.8 has 92% argon, 8% CO2. It depends on your local gas distributor if you will be getting 90.10 or 92.8. Some companies make one or not the other. So all these gases will work for regular mild steel welding in short circuit make. For pulse make, you need to have the hotter gas, the 9010 or 928, it doesn't matter which one you have, but you cannot use 7525. First step is open your tank, open your valve all the way till the end. This gauge will show you tank pressure, this one here will show you flow. When you weld mild steel make, you look at the inner scale here that goes from 10 to 60 CFH, that's what I will be referring to as far as numbers. Mild steel, you're typically at 20 CFH, potentially 25 with the door open. When you weld pulse steel, you need to be at about 35 or 40 to have a better gas coverage for the hotter spray arc. On silicon bronze, you want to be at about 40 or 45, 100% argon. On aluminum, you want to be between 40 and 50 100% argon and if you weld gas shielded flux core wire you want to be again between 40 and 50 using 7525 gas. This will work for steel dual shield or stainless dual shield. When you're done at the end of the day it's recommended to dial that regulator all the way back, let the pressure out by pulling the gun trigger one more time to not have load on the diaphragm. If you bought your Propulse 220 MTS or Propulse 200 in 2019 or before, you may have received this style of flow meter. This style flow meter attaches to the tank the same way that the regulator attaches. Um, this gauge will show you tank pressure as you open it all the way up. And you see a little ball flowing in here. The way how this works is the ball will indicate the flow. The only way how you can read flow is if you have the hose in your hand or if you pull the trigger on your MIG gun and actually let the gas flow. Here you see a scale printed on there from 10 to 60 CFH. Again, MIG welding you want to be at about 20 or 25. This would be 20. You're reading the bottom of the ball floating. 25, 30 and so on and so forth. You adjust your flow here. In order to maintain flow as your tank pressure drops, it may be necessary to adjust your flow rate as your flow rate may drop slightly. Depending on your temperature and depending on what you did with the gas hose, make sure when you grab the gas hose firmly and twist it, it stays put on the bar like this. If the gas hose will rotate on the bar, the crimp is too loose. If, when the crimp is too loose, you may draw you may draw by siphon effect ambient air into the argon which will contaminate your argon as you're welding aluminum and cause black soot porosity unstable arc. So make sure that not only all your screw on connections on the welding machine and on the flow meter are tight, also make sure that your hose does not rotate on the barbs.